Lakia Brandenburg. I have a bachelor's in professional English, a master's in educational leadership, and over five years experience teaching middle school language arts. Today I'm going to show you lessons to teach students about meaning and structure when reading. The first thing you want to do is to create an organizational structure chart. Now an organizational structure or text structure is how information is presented and organized in writing. And what you want to do is highlight the five most common organizational structures in writing. Descriptive, sequence, compare and contrast, cause and effect, problem and solution. You want to highlight the description, the keywords, and the graphic organizers that are used. Then you're going to take some index cards or construction paper and you want to cover up certain fields in on the chart and have your students to identify the description of the organizational structure. For example, here we have the author describes a topic by listing features, characteristics, and examples. We know that this is descriptive. Some of the keywords may be like as, um, such as, to illustrate, and so forth. This is just one lesson. A second lesson you can do is to create a station where you have each of the five text structures or organizational structures represented in an article. What you want to do is have some questions at the bottom that help guide your students reading. For example, which organizational or text structure is being used in the passage above? We're going to be looking for certain keywords, always referring back to our chart. Certain keywords such as follow these simple guidelines to start first, then. These keywords help me to identify the structure as sequence. And I know that the author is showing me how to bag a bargain by using these keywords. This is Lakia Brandenburg, and I just gave you some lessons to teach students about meaning and structure when reading.